welcome to Chuck's Diecast Car and Model Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at this uh, model here. This is the uh, Lamborghini Huracan by Barago. Uh, it's a pretty good model for the uh, price point that I got it for, which was <laughs> it was only like fifteen dollars. So uh, I do like this model, and I do like the car, uh, and uh, I'm pretty happy with this uh, particular model in terms of its uh, quality particularly for the price um, I will say however that I do prefer the predecessor of this car the Gallardo a bit more uh, I like the more wedge shape design of that than than this one which is a little bit more curvaceous um, also it seems to me that you know in terms of supercars, I'm more of a, I don't know, I'm not quite a Lamborghini guy, maybe just because I, you know, get the feeling that Lamborghini folks are a little bit more gold chain type guys than I am, but if you were to give me one, I would certainly be happy to take it, and I would certainly take it in this color, because this is why I bought the model. I, I do like this color, and if I were to get a Huracan, I would certainly get it in this color. I've seen a few of them in this color, and I think it's a fantastic color. Um, for those of you who don't know much about the Gallardo, first of all, its official designation is the LP610. And uh, this is actually an LP610-4, as you'll see here on the bottom. Um, the LP standing for Longitudinale Posteriore, which is... Uh, uh, you know, lengthwise mounted V10, the 5.2 liters displacement. The 610 stands for the amount of horsepower. And the 4 uh, presumably stands for the fact that it's a four-wheel drive car. Of course, uh, if you aren't aware, uh, Lamborghini is owned by, you know, Volkswagen Audi Group, and they get their four-wheel drive system from um, Audi. Uh, 610 horsepower is plenty for me and I'm sure it would scare the living daylights out of you if you were to drive it too. Um, but uh, uh, of course it's not, it's the baby Lamborghini can, in comparison to its bigger brother there. So that one has over 700. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, model itself here, okay? All right, first of all, yes, I, I, like I said, I love the color. If you can see here, you can tell perhaps that it is uh, a metallic, okay? Uh, let me zoom in a little bit closer. Maybe you can see that a little bit better. There we go. Um, you can see the little badging there showing the LP, uh, the intake there for the intercooler or oil cooler or radiator or whatever that might be. Uh, and uh, you can see here as well that the uh, the wheels look uh, nice with the center cap and there are rotors back there um, but they are pretty small rotors I don't know if that's the actual size of the rotors in the actual car but they do exist there uh, looking at the front here you can see rotors up front as well don't look as big as maybe they should but they are there also uh, so um, you can see also that they rotate with the uh, the wheels there so that's a good thing uh, when you take a look at the front uh, headlight detail is pretty decent okay uh, that's pretty uh, spot on and the badging looks good as well the grill is, uh, you know, plastic and it doesn't, it's not mesh that goes all the way through, but still is a decent representation there. So, not too many complaints for the $15 I paid for this model. Uh, you can see here that the uh, wipers look uh, uh, pretty decent also. Not metal or anything, but uh, they look proper. And when you look here, uh, under the uh, front hood, you'll see that 
massive luggage space there for all of your uh, goodies there that the uh, Huracan provides for you there. You can uh, pack your lunch in there, I suppose. Um, taking a look at the uh, rear here. Again, uh, no mesh, but it looks decent. The exhaust look, you know, pretty much to scale and look good. I like the little Huracan license plate back there. And again, you know, the uh, the taillights look good, but the uh, third brake light is just a sticker there. Uh, but, uh, and, you know, there is no uh, carbon fiber texture or anything like that in the in there either but let's take a look at the uh, lovely V10 motor not much to see there since it's covered pretty much uh, completely by shrouding uh, and also that cross brace but you can see the valve covers or intakes uh, look pretty good there with that Lamborghini badging on there as well uh, like uh, every other uh, Maisto Barago model they hate uh, side windows, so there are no side windows, but you can see that the doors do open, and they open way, they don't open nearly wide enough. <laughs> okay, if this were your car, you would not be able to climb in. Uh, also, they, of course, if you didn't know, Lamborghini Huracans do not have the uh, scissor doors like the Big Brothers do, only the... Uh, top end Lambos have the uh, scissor doors uh, but looking at the interior you can see in there that it is uh, pretty decent um, the dash and steering wheel look pretty good uh, seats not bad either um, it's hard to tell how the seat look seats look because you can't open the doors enough but you can see there that the uh, the, the doors are um, you know, the seats are pretty good. The uh, center console looks pretty nice. You can see the the paddles for the paddle shifter there. And so all that is uh, looks decent. Uh, but when you look at the through the other side here, you can see also the center console looks pretty good as well. So not bad at all there, okay? All right, but uh, taking a look at the underside as we did before, there's not much to see here because it has a full under tray um, so you can see there the only thing that you can see is uh, the uh, transmission there so or the bottom of the engine I assume that's the bottom of the engine but um, but yeah again uh, not much to see there so uh, so as it is you know that is it for the model uh, as I said it is a pretty decent one and uh, unless you want to spend, you know, $100 more than I did, if not more, I can uh, definitely recommend this uh, Barago Huracan to you. So anyway, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. You have yourself a great day, and uh, thank you for watching.